The sum of a number and its square is 90. Find the number or numbers. Let's begin by defining a variable that represents a number. Let's set x equal a number, and therefore its square would be the square of x or x squared. So x squared is equal to the square of a number. So we're told the sum, which means addition, of a number and a square is 90. So to find the numbers, we need to solve the equation x plus x squared equals 90. Again, the sum of a number and its square equals 90. But because we have a quadratic equation, let's write the x squared term first. Because we have addition here, and addition is commutative, we can change the order without changing the sum. So you can write x plus x squared as x squared plus x, which still have equals 90. Let's try to solve this equation by factoring. So we'll set it equal to 0 by subtracting 90 on both sides of the equation. So simplifying, on the left side we have x squared plus x minus 90 equals 90 minus 90 is 0. We'll now see if this trinomial factors. If it does factor, it'll factor into two binomial factors because the first term is x squared and x times x equals x squared. We have a factor of x here and a factor of x here in the first position, so the two binomials. And for the second positions, we need to find the factors of negative 90 that add to positive 1. So if we consider negative 9 times 10 and negative 10 times 9, notice both products are negative 90. But we need the two factors that if we add them, we get positive 1. And therefore we'll use the factors of negative 9 and positive 10. So one factor would be x minus 9, the other factor would be x plus 10. And now because this product is equal to 0, either x minus 9 equals 0 or x plus 10 equals 0. Solving these two linear equations for x, here we'd add 9 to both sides, giving us x equals 9, or solving for x here, we subtract 10 on both sides, we have x equals negative 10. So it appears we have two solutions. But let's check both values of x in our equation to verify x plus x squared equals 90. So beginning with the equation x plus x squared equals 90, let's check our solution x equals 9. So we'd have 9 plus 9 squared equals 90. Well, we have 9 plus 9 squared is 81, and this does check 90 equals 90. And now let's check x equals negative 10. And notice how when I perform the substitution, I put parentheses around the value we were substituting for x. And that's important when substituting a negative value and we're raising the negative value to an exponent. So when x equals negative 10, we'd have negative 10 plus the square of negative 10 equals 90. So we have negative 10 plus the square of negative 10 is equal to negative 10 times negative 10, which equals positive 100. So this also checks. Negative 10 plus 100 is 90. And therefore, both solutions satisfy our conditions. And therefore, there are two numbers, such as the sum of the number and its square equals 90. So we have two solutions, and it says if needed, separate answers with commas, order does not matter. So we'll enter negative 10, comma, 9. I hope you found this helpful.